will get started right away. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm so excited to have this morning. Um, last night, I was just so supercharged after the session and I, I felt some stuff going on in my body still. So I kind of worked remotely um, with some people just trying to clear some other stuff. There was some stuff going on right at the back of the head. I could feel with certain people. And so I just kind of did a little bit more clearing and, and I, I thought of, you know, a million other things that I, sh I, I would have, should have, could have talked about last night, just because there's so much involved with addiction and there's so much about the healing of it and the recovery of it. And, and um, there's nothing that, um, that I wanted to say more other than there's no expectations with this in that, you know, sometimes we're just ready to, um, to recognize that there's something that we want to let go in our lives. Sometimes we are ready to recognize that we need to, good morning, um, that we need, I'm just doing a quick recording um, just to do the little energy treatment quickly we were yabbering and so I'm just going to uh, give a little zap to everybody and um, and get get on with our day I just wanted to really talk about our whys and and why we are making the decision to maybe let go of something in our lives you know even if it's just an unhealthy friendship or an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy self-talk or unhealthy you know just something that isn't really fitting us anymore that we would love to just see shifted from our bodies. So if your result has changed from yesterday to today, where you realized, actually, you know, I really like coffee and I'm not going to quit it. <laughs> I just want to get a handle on it and only drink one cup a day. This is, this is where this can really come in a little bit handy. So I am going to, um, send some, some intentions out there for you guys to, to really, Give it a, a thought in your head right now as to why you're ready to make some shifts, as to what these shifts are that you, you may be really ready to make. So we're going to just make the intention of, of keeping strong today, keeping focused on what we really want, charging up those energy centers so that we feel really strong, that we feel really just vibrant kind of going in to our day. So right now, this is just going to be a nice little meditation to kind of get you focused, get you centered. And um, I'm just reading the field here, just seeing where we need to go as my hands just heat up like these little little heaters here. So I'm going to have you guys take a couple nice deep breaths for me. And what we're going to do right now so we're going to think of a time where we last had a lot of success, had a lot of power with something, felt really good about making a decision for ourselves where we actually felt like it really resonated. Like we went, yeah, I was meant to do this. It could be winning something. It could be just beating someone at a card game. It could be making a decision that you just know is aligned. I want you to imagine living a life that you just really love, making healthy choices and taking a couple of nice deep breaths. How does it feel to just choose to make these positive choices? How does it feel to simply listen to what it is that you want? What if we were to show up 100% today? I want you to just notice your breath. Notice the breath going in through your nose and out through your mouth.
Notice what the breath feels like going in through your nose. Does it feel cool? Is it warm? Does it feel kind of sharp in the nostrils? How does it feel going in? And how does that breath feel coming out? Is it possible to just let some things go with that breath? Scan through your body, look for any tight spots, any places that feel constricted. Any places that feel like they need a little bit of extra attention today. And by making some of these changes that you're deciding to make, I want you to see how it's affecting everyone else. So like that fish tank that we designed last night, just a nice copacetic saltwater fish tank. Just looking at how beautiful it's all sort of running right now and deciding what else you're going to allow in there. Are you going to allow any more fish right now or do you have enough? Do you need more decor in there? Or do you have enough? Do you need to actually take some out and revamp it a little bit? If you were simply that aquarium and all the things that you allow, all the energies that you allow during the day to come into your clear tank, your energy system, you have full control over what you let in your tank or not. I want you to think about your kids in this tank. And I want you to think about your general well being with this tank. How easily everything can get thrown off just by having a little bit of a funky water change, a little bit of a overfeeding, a little bit of a leaving it too long, not tending to it. Noticing how quickly everything can go off, but how beautiful it is right now. This tank has taken years to cultivate, to build, to get everything all stabilized. It can last for years to come, but what kind of setups are you gonna to need to make that happen? And if people are watching you, what are you gonna show them? Are you gonna show them that you're a follow through person and that you take care of your tank, you want everybody to see it, or are you gonna just keep it covered? Are you gonna turn the light on and allow all of those beautiful corals and anemones to start coming out? Growing, breeding. And I want you to see how important it is that you keep this structure up. Because how many living things are all depending on the choices that you make around this tank? It's not just you. Clearing out this crown, just allowing it to open. And I want you to imagine that fresh water just pouring in from the aquifer we have above our head. 
that new light source, that new water source just coming in, filling up that crown chakra, just literally displacing any darkness. All of the darkness is just going to get drawn out of the roots we have the tank grounded with. Those roots are that this underground system, I'm just gonna remove all the negativity. I'm gonna feel it just draw right out of your tailbone. We're gonna open up this third eye a little bit more. It's been a lot of opinions forced upon you and we're just taking some of those away, taking some of that pressure off, seeing that clarity. Mm, and that is just allowing that throat chakra to just open right up. Could you know that the world really wants to hear what you have to say? In fact, it needs it. The world wants you here. And in fact, it needs it. And we're going to bring the energy down over the shoulders, removing that weight of the world that we feel we have to carry. And allowing some people to carry their own weight. Simply allowing. If we're taking or doing something to alter our state, we are literally making ourselves incapable of doing the work we need to do. Having a clear vessel energetically, emotionally, physically feeds this heart. And we're just gonna allow this heart chakra to open, getting that healing process to start moving down into the fingers, there we go. Filling that heart with light, filling that heart with the utmost love Just holding your heart and balancing it right now. Like a beautiful hug. You are safe. You are connected. And you're being held by the warmest frequencies. Letting some of that heart pain go. All those times your heart's been broken. All those times you've actually broken your own heart. We're gonna send in a little forgiveness, forgiveness to the heart. all of those feelings, all of those times your heart broke for other people where you literally felt it. I want you to feel that golden light, that beautiful shimmering light just encompassing your heart, just embracing it, giving it this permanent little safe, 
hug to just live in. We're gonna just move all that energy down through the chest. Connecting with your breath again, if you feel your mind wandering, just connect to your breath, feel it going in and out. Right into that solar plexus right now, right into above the belly button. I want you to notice that area. Growing with your breath in and deflating with the breath out. We take other people's pain, we put it in our gut. We take our pain, we put it in our gut. We take our, I can take it, I can do it. We put it all in our gut. We just hang on to all that and it's time to just release it. There's so much stored stuff down here into the solar plexus, into that low back. I'm just going to clear, transmute, remove some of the sludge that's right down into that sacral plexus. Feeling your boundaries, feeling that knowing of what's right for you, trusting yourself, that gut instinct, that inner knowing not denying that anymore, listening, knowing that we can trust that voice inside. Finding other people to help them find their power. I feel you guys just reaching out to all these other people and just like lighting their fire inside. Or maybe it's just blowing a little on their flame for them to show them the genius, the love that you see inside of them. <sighs> Encouraging them to share their genius with the world and watching them light up and seeing how good it feels to be on that right path. And how good it feels to know your boundaries. They're becoming so clear without all this muck in the way. Going into that root, this root is it's heavy. I want you to feel right now the roots from your tailbone reaching down deep into Mother Earth. Grounding you just as a little tree would be grounded into the earth. Allowing that tree above the earth to just move gently with the wind. But the roots are so planted that nothing could ever tear it out. Not even a tornado could whip by this tree and uproot it. It is so strong. It is so deep down into Mother Earth. Just gonna clear the chakras in the knees. and the feet. And I want you to place your hands just on, on your lap or have your palms open. And I want you to notice that in the very middle of each of your palms and at the very end of each fingertip, there's a little light chakra. We have chakras in each one of our 
fingertips and right in the middles of our palms. And I just want you to imagine right now streams of little lights coming out of each end of each finger and the middle of your palm. Might feel stronger on one than the other. I want you to just imagine these little lights simply beaming out of the ends of your fingers. And I want you to imagine bringing those fingertips, pointing them at an area in your body that just needs a little extra love zap, a little extra heat and light energy, a little bit of extra holding and clearing in your body. I'm on the root in the sacral right now. Last night too, I felt this pain deep down in the middle there. Just gonna hold this for a moment. And now I want you to almost pretend that these lights can feel, feel, you can feel them shooting out of your fingers and I want you to shoot them at yourself. So I want you to use your hands and just shoot some energy from your fingertips wherever it needs to go. I feel like I'm moving right up to the crown. I'm just shooting some extra energy down there for you guys. And take your fingertips and you can send it out to a person that may even be coming into your head right now that just needs a little love, needs a little of this good energy that we have flowing so freely through us right now. And if you can't think of a person, I want you to send this energy back into yourself and just keep filling until you can't fill it up anymore, until it simply feels done and just allow that. And it goes through one more gentle scan of the body. Very nice, deep healing, cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. And I'm gonna encourage you to keep thinking about your whys. Why are you ready for these changes? Ask the universe to show you how many ways you're ready for these changes right now. what is it going to take? Is it going to take to get really sick? Is it going to take a struggle? What is it going to take for you to be able to truly let this habit go? And what are we going to replace it with? I want you to think of one fun thing, one rewarding thing you can do for yourself to give you a little dopamine hit, to give you a little aha moment, to give you a little opportunity to play in the field at 100%. And tomorrow morning, at 9.30 Central, 10.30 Eastern, I will hop back on. Do another little clearing. And you can use this throughout your day whenever you feel the need. And so it is. Go use some oils, take some action. Stay true to yourself. I'm sending love. I'm going to stop the recording and I will see you guys in the morning.